Facebook's new graph search tool rolled out for all users recently, and you might be surprised about what it reveals about you. So here's a few tips on how to safeguard your data. Back in January, Facebook made a big deal about graph search, its new searchable open graph of its users' profile info and activity. That seems like a while ago now, but graph search has finally rolled out to the masses. And if you've gone on Facebook lately, you'll probably notice that your search bar looks a little different. What graph search does is make all your and your friends and their friends' Facebook data searchable, and you might be surprised to see how much of your info that entails. Say I want to search for friends of friends who like football. You can now search for that by typing in that exact term and then refine that search by gender, relationship, status, hometown, school, or by what else they like. But you can also use this tool to search people on Facebook that may have no connection to you, getting as specific as you want by linking terms with and or or. This also means there's a whole new world of Facebook data that is accessible to strangers, potentially, as long as you're on Facebook. Say for some reason I want to look at people who have liked Scott Bromley's photos. Not only can I see those people, I can see all the photos they have liked and all their comments. You can also straight up search for photos a specific person has liked or commented on. And that's really all just the surface. You might be surprised about what information about you is now essentially public or searchable on Facebook. And there's no way to opt out of graph search without quitting Facebook altogether. There are some ways to make some of your information less searchable, but unsurprisingly for Facebook, the process is neither simple nor obvious. In your activity log, you can go through and painstakingly detag yourself from photos, but of course that photo is still out there on someone else's profile. In your profile, you'll have to go through each section individually, hit edit or remove, edit privacy, and share with only me. In your likes, you actually need to do this for every individual category of likes, including all those random pages you liked ironically four years ago. This will make those categories unsearchable through graph search, but comments are where things get hairy. Even if you're not friends with someone, they can still search for photos that you've liked or commented on. To look at this, go to your privacy shortcuts along the top right bar. Here you can get to your activity log and see all your own posts on your own timeline and stuff that you've commented on. Again, you have to go through and manually unlike or delete your comments with everything. Otherwise, who can see your comments will depend on what settings the owner of the photo or post has selected for their stuff. So to make a long story short, it's complicated. And minimizing your Facebook footprint will depend on how much time you want to dedicate to a mass deleting spree. So for anyone who wants to maintain their privacy, is it time to completely quit Facebook? Are you still on it anyway? Let us know in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie.